are you pissed off with your life at the moment and you're thinking what's going on you know i'm doing this remedy that remedy oh, i'm doing this that so many things i'm doing i'm seeing youtube videos i'm trying to learn astrology i'm doing yoga meditation so many things and nothing is working and you are wondering should you even do anything else <laughs> if you are in such a situation then it is very likely that your lagna lord is suffering due to some reason all right so when i say lagna lord i mean the planet which rules your first house your ascendant so 10 remedies timeless remedies for anyone and everyone who wants to strengthen their ascendant ascendant lord because the lagna the lagnesh gives you direction in life so whenever you have a bad lagnesh then what happens is people think there's no direction no there is misdirection so therefore it is imperative that you strengthen your Lagna Lord. But before I go into the 10 remedies, you need to understand that this should only be done after consultation with your personalized astrologer. All right. So don't just go and do this randomly because it can yield the opposite effects because you need to see where your Lagnesh is. You know, <clears throat> is the Lagnesh weak, strong, or is it afflicted? It's debilitated, exalted. Whatever. So please Check with your personal astrologer with whom you are close and you do frequent consultations. Only then you should exactly decide how you should do these remedies, okay? But if I assume that you have already done it or you will do, then here are 10 remedies. The first remedy, and this is the most important and the most brilliant of all remedies, which you can do is chanting mantras, okay? Because the word mantra means manatrai, which that which delivers your mind. So, which whichever planet is your lagnesh regarding that planet, you should do mantras. Now you can do graha mantras, you know, like uh, if you are Leo lagna, you can do surya mantras. But I don't recommend chanting graha mantras just uh, for no reason. I I would say better than chanting the graha mantras is you chant the mantra for the Vishnu Avatara, okay, uh, which represents that planet. So, for example, uh, if you are Leo Lagna, then chant some mantra related to Bhagavan Ram. Then if you are Cancer Lagna, then some mantra related to Krishna. You know, like you can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. Okay, so, um, so that's an example. If your Mangal is your Lagnesh, then you can chant, you know, Narsima Dev's mantra, you know, like Om Namo Bhagavate Narsima, something like this, okay. So when you chant the mantra, you invoke the power of the Vishnu Avatar and then you get the right guidance that is required. So this is very important. If you do all the other remedies but you don't do this, it's a waste of time. No other remedy will work unless the the, the Avatar blesses you, nothing will work. Okay, nothing, nothing can work because that's the source energy. So no compromise with that. After that, you can keep chanting other mantras, you know, like you can chant Gayatri mantra, you can chant Graha mantra, these, that, whatever you want, you can do. But that has to be done and there is no second opinion on this. Number two, you can perform homas, okay. Uh, homas are, you know, like you can do fire sacrifices, you know, you can Google more or, you know, if you're from the West, you are not aware what homa is. You can do a specific uh, homas required so for example if your uh, mars is your lagnesh so if you are scorpio or uh, you are aries lagna then you can do narsimha homa and all this you can do yagya homa and all this all right so they will also help you to invoke the power of that dt that avatara in your house and in your life okay so if possible try to do it once every month or at least once in six months or at least on the day of your very calendar body okay so that you should not compromise okay when you do the homas then your home is purified home homa <laughs> your house your home your family your life your thoughts everything is purified so that's brilliant so don't skip the homas okay number three you can observe fasts on that particular day. So, for example, if you are uh, if you are Taurus or Libra Lagna, then you can observe fast on Fridays, right? So, you know, every planet signifies one day. Okay, so, so therefore, if you are uh, Leo Lagna, then Sunday is the best day to fast. But this I recommend doing if your Lagnesh is afflicted or, you know, in, in a bad dignity. Uh, otherwise, you may not observe fast every day, okay? I mean, every week on that day, you don't need to observe. 
but still you should observe you know once a month at least and if your lagnesh is badly placed or afflicted then every week that particular day you should fast so now fasting you can you don't have to do 24 hour fast you 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 can see depending on your level so ideal is you fast till 12 you don't drink or eat anything it's like completely prohibited after you get up and then even better than that is till 6 p.m or till sunset you uh, don't eat or you don't drink if possible and on that day try to avoid taking alcohol meat or uh, sexual activity or or try to avoid uh, too much you know rajasik food and all this you know try to avoid onion onion garlic okay especially if your lagnesh is badly placed this is very important and also uh, this is a side thing which i said before uh, you can go to kanchipuram and you can do more fasting there you know kanchipuram is especially a place where uh, you can go to do more tapasya it's a place in tamil nadu it's a brilliant amazing place please go there i also have a video i think it's a video i made five years back father of all remedies you can search in my channel you know father of all remedies you will find that okay now number five you can do uh, number four sorry you can do you know uh, charity and donations of that particular planet and specifically on that particular day very important so for example um if if you are if your lagna lord is mars then you you can donate you know all this red lentils you know if it is surya you can donate jaggery and all this okay so uh, you can google you know what every planet represents and the list is there you will find doesn't make sense for me to give all this here because it will be like a two hour long video okay but uh, if you cannot do on that day, you can do in general in any day. But if you can do on that day, it is even better. Because when you are doing donations, the, giving donations, then that the negative karma which is there, that keeps going away gradually. Okay, so and everybody has some problem. Nobody has a perfect luck. The Lord. So if you have problems, then please go and do this. It will It will really help you. Number five. You can make specific pujas or offerings to that particular Vishnu Avatara. This is also very important. So, for example, you can also do to the Graha, nothing wrong. But again, try to do more to the Vishnu Avatar. For example, uh, if if Mars is your Lagnesh, then uh, not Mars, sorry, Surya is your Lagnesh, then you can offer water to the sun uh, every day, you know, and uh, especially on Sundays, you can do that. Or... You know, if like you know, if Venus is your lagnesh, you know, you can offer uh, this uh, some some offering to Lakshmi Devi, or <clears throat> you can go to Rishikesh, or you know, Rishikesh not the place, uh, or you can offer to any Parshuram temple if you can find. You know, it's a bit difficult, but but you can try wherever you uh, find. Okay, so Rishikesh is another form of Vishnu, which is worshipped uh, as an alternate form for. Uh, Parshuram because Parshuram temples you will very rarely find okay or at least once a year you can go and do some puja there you know that is recommended and I won't make any specific recommendation because I, I I don't want to sell anything here but yeah if you can do it is very good and uh, every deity every dham every place has certain particular things which are good if you offer you know like for example in Jagannath Puri um if you go, then you can accept prasad because it is called as bhogamandap, right? But if you go to um, Tirupati, it's called Pushpa Mandap. So there you should offer flowers, okay? So it's like that. So see, read the story, read about your lagnesh, read about the Vishnu avatar associated with it, and then you will know. Number six, you can wear specific clothes. So for example, if you want to strengthen uh your uh, lagnesh then maybe you can wear suppose you know mars is your lagnesh then you can wear red you know red you can wear more frequently okay or you know you can uh eat red color things that that also helps okay like you can add uh you know red color bell pepper capsicum all this you can eat so this is just an example you know you, you can go but what i'm trying to tell you is try to uh try to come in contact with that energy more and more then you will realize that you know you are able to tune yourself much more with the energy of that planet 
Otherwise, you may feel, you know, what is all this, you know, uh, I have to eat red, you know, I have to chant this mantra, this, that. Or no, it's not like this. It's not artificial. You have to do it slowly, gradually. And then you will be able to understand much better. The number seven, very important. Please do uh, yoga, meditation and all this, you know. So, I, especially if you are Leo Lagna, then Surya Namaskar. Or, you know, if you are Cancer Lagna, then Chandra Namaskar is there. So, you can find for that particular... Uh, Vishnu avatar, what kind of you know, mantras, not only mantras, but what kind of yoga, what kind of meditation, what kind of things did that Vishnu avatar do when this avatar was there? And something similar you can do, okay? Like, for example, if you are mercurial ascendant, then uh, Buddha is the avatar. So you can do more of, you know, like uh, the silent meditation, which is, you know, where you just meditate without thinking anything. So that is something you can do. So do some yoga, meditation regarding that avatar or in general you can do pranayam if you are not able to find. Okay, that is also, that's also good. You don't have to be too specific but in general you should do some breathing exercises every day. That will help because what does the lagnesh do? The lagnesh is the one who is keeping the the pran intact right and pran as you know pran upon vayan saman only and these are five types of vayus air within the body so if you do breathing exercises irrespective of who is your lagnesh it will benefit you so please do some you know kapal bhati anulom vilom bhastrika pranayama or something like that it will actually help you now number eight is you should have a balanced diet balanced diet in the sense you should not take too many extreme things, you know, like too much sugar or too much uh, salt, too much chili, because then what happens, it creates imbalance. And that will create, you know, this as per Ayurveda, you know, we have Pitta dosh, then we have, you know, Kapha dosh, we have Vata dosh. So some kind of dosh will be created and any dosh that is created will affect your lagnesh. It will affect your energy, your mood and all this. So <clears throat> try to take a balanced diet. Uh, try to understand that um, you should strike a balance, okay? And especially, as I said, on that particular day. So, if you know you are, uh, if you are born on, uh, if Guru is your lagnesh, you know, then please understand that on Thursdays, please avoid eating meat, alcohol, and all this, okay? Onion, garlic, and all this. Many people in India follow this. Uh, irrespective of who their lagnesh is, you know, they uh, are vegetarian. They're vegetarians on Thursdays, okay, which is great, but nonetheless, if Guru is your Lagnesh, you must win, all right. Then, number nine, you should seek blessings of your uh, gurus and your elders, especially on that day, because you know that will really help you. Like, uh, I know one person, a very famous person in Mumbai, uh, he's very spiritually elevated, so he, he used to tell me that uh, his father also very spiritual person his father would go and visit his guru on every purnima okay but there was some reason you know because his father was born in purnima or something like so you know every month you know purnima is there so this is one example i am saying where uh, you, you you can always you know have a talk with your guru on that day you know so every thursday or every tuesday depending on your lagnesh you know or you can send a mail to your guru or his assistant, you know, that this is my progress, you know. So, use that day as a day to connect with your guru, okay. Because in the Lagnesh, who gets Digbali? Jupiter gets directional strength and Mercury also. So, guru is the, T Jupiter is the guru, Mercury is the disciple, right. So, therefore, try to maintain that healthy relationship. So, every Tuesday, every Monday, every Sunday, send a mail and give updates about yourself. You, you may not get a reply or you may not expect a reply, but take it as a day where you connect to the divine through your guru. Very important. And number 10, uh, connect with the nature. Okay. So, for example, on that particular day, you know, so for, for example, if, you know, your Lagnesh is Venus, then on Fridays, you know, go and, um, yeah, go and do something. Uh, go, go go and take a vacation or go for a walk with your spouse you know with your husband or wife every every friday for half an hour that's not very difficult or uh, if surya is your lagnesh you know go 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 and take a walk with your father that's that's great on sundays you know so 
so you, you have to see how you can do and the bonus remedy always is you know have good relationship with the karaka with that uh, with that person which that planet represents so for example if you are venusian lagna then have a good relationship with your spouse you know that is the biggest remedy for venus rather than fasting on fridays if you fast on fridays and you are going on you know doing nonsense with your spouse you are cheating on your spouse or you are you know abusing them beating them you know, like manipulating them and all this nonsense you are doing so it won't yield any result all right so this is the 11th bonus remedy please every planet represents a person so mercury you know your friends relatives moon mother good relationship sun father mars brothers all right so try your best to have a good relationship you don't have to have the best relationship with everybody that you cannot only god can do that but try your best to whatever extent or at least even if you can't have a good relationship your your father mother or your spouse maybe is a, is a very toxic person as per your definition of toxicity even if that is true don't insult them don't abuse them don't manipulate them don't do wrong against them defend if they do something wrong against you but to whatever extent try and have a good relationship that will help you all right thank you so much for your patience please uh, let me know which is your lagnesh and what kind of remedies do you do in the comments i would love to see them and what other remedies have you seen astrologer suggesting all right but before i go don't forget do this only in consultation with your family astrologer otherwise it can backfire all right and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you